Everybody needs to have a why behind what they do. What is your why? I know what my why is. Why do I go to the gym? Because I want to take care of myself. Because you only get one body. You need to honor God with your body. You need to take care of yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. How many people have I met in my life where they're in their 40s and they're already using a cane, their back is messed up, they're overweight, they make all kinds of complaints and all kinds of excuses because they treated their body and their lives like garbage when they were younger. Now that's stupid because somebody that's in their 40s is still young. This is a mindset problem. This is something that people that are people dealing with because of their stupid decisions that they're, they're coping with their situation. Why do I believe in Christ? Because we've got the prophecies, because we've got the word, and we have the actual accounts of the people that he recruited at that time to do his bidding and to build his church. We have everything that we need. There's nothing that man can say to me that will persuade me against following God's word and believing in his son, Jesus Christ. Everything is evident before us. Everything is evident. The creation is evident before us each and every day. And anybody that doesn't believe that, you know, there's something wrong with them. There's some cognitive dissonance there. So I encourage you, figure out your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you putting up with what you're putting up? Are you thinking small? Or are you somebody that, that thinks big? Do you need to increase your faith? Faith is important because without faith, nobody can believe in God. We need to believe. We need to have faith that we can go out there and accomplish the things that we're going to accomplish and believe in the things that God's going to do for our lives because that's what's most important. So I encourage you, figure out what your why is and stick to it. You know in your gut what it is you need to do. You just need to go out there and make it happen each and every day. Part of my why is I've got to dig into the scriptures. Part of my why is I've got to dig into the word. I've got to share my faith. I've got to dig into prayer. I've got to be focused on the mission. This lie, this nonsense that people are weak, you know, from the church, Christians, so-called Christians are weak. This is baloney. Jesus was not weak. People that follow God, people that do God's will, they should not be weak. They should be challenging people. They should be holding people accountable. Figure out your why and stick to it. And I've seen a lot of people making comments in my videos down below. Listen, you can see the scriptures I'm talking about. You can see where I'm reading. All right, I have a, I have a subscription. If you want to support the channel, it's only $7.00. Stop being cheap. If you want to support my work, if you want to be involved with my fellowship, with my community, and you want to deal with me on a weekly basis, support my channel. It's $7 per month. Do it or don't. I really don't care. But stop complaining about, you know, you want the scriptures or where they're at, where this is at. Everything is there. Do some work. Stop being lazy. Look at the scriptures. Figure it out. If you want to support the channel, if you want to get more in-depth te uh, teaching, then subscribe, it's $7 a month. If you don't, then don't. It's really up to you. I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. And the other thing is too, for these race baiters, these people that come into the comment section, they say that only Israel's gonna be saved. Listen, you're delusional, you're out of your mind. Nobody is saved by their race. The scripture says, put no confidence in the flesh. Just because you're a certain race or you think you're Israel means nothing. It's your actions. It's your obedience. It's what you do that matters in conjunction with your faith. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.